friends, welcome back to another video. I am so excited to be sharing a bunch of Christmas stuff recently. Uh, Christmas is my favorite time of year and I just love it. It's so cozy and festive and fun and magical. Um, it's like everything that I love in life um, this time of year. So anyways, I have some fun videos um, that I'm sharing with you guys and what I have today is decorating my cocoa station. Um, so I think this will be really fun and I can't wait to share it with you guys. I'm going to show you um, what all I use on the tray and everything. I decided to do just a little corner of my kitchen as a little cocoa station um, separate from my coffee bar. Sometimes I do it on my coffee bar, but this time I kind of just wanted it to be a little spot in the kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, most of the stuff that I got for the uh, cocoa station I purchased last year. Um, and I'll try and link everything that I can down below, but, um, if I can't, you know, if you can't get the exact same thing, it's totally just like the concept that will work. Um, so like, for example, a canister that I got is from Home Goods, um, and I don't think it's available anymore because as you know, Home Goods just always has random stuff and then it's just sold out and I got it, like I said, a year or maybe two years ago. But anyways, it's kind of like if you just follow it just for the concepts, um, as opposed to like everything um, using the exact things I have to recreate it yourself, then hopefully it'll be fun and everyone can like make their own cocoa station if it inspires you. I love watching how people set up their coffee bars or their cocoa stations, especially for like Christmas time. So I thought it would be a really fun video. And without further ado, I will show you guys my DIY cocoa station. Hope you enjoy. Here is the little corner that I chose in my kitchen for the little cocoa station. And I'm starting out like I like to start off every little project by getting it all clean and a, having a clean blank slate. So I'm wiping it all down with the snowdrop scent of the Mrs. Meyer spray. It smells so good. And I think the bottles are really cute and I like having the different colors for different seasons out in my kitchen. And it totally goes with my um, little sparkling snowflake glistening glam theme I have going on this year. Um, so I am also wiping down this little tray that I'm setting it all on. This is a Target tray um, from a year or two ago. They don't have this exact one anymore, but they do have one, I think, in a different color. It has more of like a black marble on it. So I'm just setting that all, all up in the corner and getting it all situated here. So first things first, obviously I had to have a hot cocoa mix for my cocoa bar and I really love this blend that I found at Costco. It's the Starbucks Classic Hot Cocoa Mix and I love that it has super minimal ingredients. There's like four things in there, nothing too artificial um, or anything crazy which is what I look for as much as possible. I also thought that the container was really pretty and classy looking and I loved that it had a gold lid so I was excited by that find. And honestly my favorite part of this whole cocoa bar and it made everything come together was this cute cute nutcracker that I found um, at Target actually. I was looking everywhere for the perfect nutcracker that kind of fit my sparkling glistening theme like in a glittery color I love that his little like outfit is a glittery white he was perfect and he has this little faux fur hat with a gemstone on it I felt like he was totally perfect and I feel like he was the best part of the cocoa bar and how it all kind of came together with my theme Next, I am setting out this really pretty canister slash, uh, it's like a porcelain jar that I found at Home Goods. It was one or two years ago, and I really loved the very pretty kind of blue and white and gold um, wintry scene that it has on it. It has little deer and birds. I thought it was so pretty, and it kind of just all came together to wear this little cocoa bar. It was very just like wintry type of scene. Um, vibe that I have going on. I feel like that container just totally makes the whole look. So here I just have this little white container that I got at Ikea where I'm setting up some little cocoa 
um, spoon stirrers. It's like you just put the whole thing in a hot cup of milk and stir it and then it creates a cup of cocoa. Um, I got these at Home Goods once again last year. I never finished all of them, so I am reusing them and I'm setting it all up to where they sit nicely in there. Um, you will see that I adjust things later. I end up moving those, but that's where I put it right now in the process. Next, I got these adorable little marshmallow stars from the Target Wonder Shop. They have a little cocoa area where you can get all the supplies for a little cocoa bar, and they, I got a couple of things there. They're really cute. So they don't exactly look like stars <laughs> as much as you would think, but I still think that they're super cute, and I just put them in this little glass jar that I had already on hand. I decided to put a little snowflake under it to just add another little wintry effect over here. Next I have these cute little um, snowy birds that I got from Hobby Lobby about a year or two ago. They definitely still have those um, in stock. I've seen them again so I will link them below if I can find them online. Next I have these cute little sparkling snowflake place card holders. They have a little flippy at the top and you can't see it as much on camera but they're really glittery and sparkly. They're so simple but I think they're so pretty and I got them a couple years ago at Hobby Lobby and I am so sad because they don't have them anymore and they're one of my most favorite random things I ever got. I just think they're so cute. And here's just a simple little white mug that I have. It's from Target as well. And for the final touch, I'm adding these really cute sweet stripe peppermint um, stirrers that I got again from the Target Wonder Shop. I think they're so cute and so festive. And here I am just putting them into a little glass jar. Um, I could not for the life of me find the perfect jar to put these in that like looked right in the space so I start with a couple different options but you'll see it later I finally found something at the store that was perfect and I'm going to replace it with that later. As you can tell my whole overall color palette is much more like glittering gold neutrals um, things like that so I definitely don't use almost any red at all in my Christmas decorating but I love 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 this fun little candy stripe red and white touch just that little pop of color that this adds to the cocoa bar I think it is so fun and so festive So after everything was on there, I play around with it quite a bit just to see how I like it and readjust everything. Um, I do, as I said later, change things a tiny bit and you'll see how I adjust it again. So as you can see here, I did finally find the perfect apothecary style jar for the candy cane stirrers. I was so excited by the find because I was looking everywhere and nothing was perfect, but I love how this jar looks in the space. I feel like it looks like an old fashioned candy store um, candy jar and I just love that detail so much. 
so here you can see the complete cocoa bar in its full glory. I just love, love the way that the whole project turned out. I feel like it's one of those things where after a little bit of tweaking, um, everything just came together perfectly and I absolutely love it and I just think it is so much fun. And I have already made several cups of cocoa over here and it works perfectly for that. Um, it's so fun to be able to just like put the marshmallows in or use a candy cane stirrer and it's such a delicious and cozy wintertime treat. So I hope this has inspired you to um, possibly create your own cocoa bar. It's such a fun thing to do, especially with kids or if you have guests coming over. It's just a really fun thing to have a little dedicated cocoa bar in the corner where everyone can make themselves a cup of cozy hot cocoa. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you come back in the next day or two as I will be posting my full Christmas home tour and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.